Hi guys, good to be with you again. Today I'm by myself with Polina, my daughter. <laughs> Hello. My wife gonna join us a little bit later on. Okay, so Polina filming again. She got a lot of nice comments that she feels good. <laughs> so she's back again. So my wife gonna join us a little bit later, okay? So what we're doing today is we're doing the Oshi Bakshi Khaltegi. For a lot of Bukharian people, they know what it is. But for the ones that doesn't know, I will explain it. This is a very old Bukharian tradition food. It goes back many, 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 many years. And what we're gonna do is, is green rice. Okay, it's rice with lamb, fat, dill, cilantro, and uh, liver. It has to cook inside the bag. See, this is the bag that it's gonna go to. I have two bags over here. I have to choose which one I'm gonna put it into. Okay, so that's gonna be later on. And then on the side, we're gonna also make yachni. Yachni, it's a cooked boiled chicken in the water. So we're gonna do the yachni with the carrots, potatoes, and eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this thing later on. So we're gonna start right now, and as we go along, I'll show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by cutting the lamb. Now the pieces has to be very, very small, okay? Not too big. I chopped the lamb for small cubes. Now I'm gonna have to do the fat. I'm gonna cut the fat and it has to be very, very thin, not too big. And uh, again, the ratio 40 to 60. 40% 40 fat and 60% uh, meat. You can put even more if you like. Just give you an idea how small it has to be like this. I'm done with the lamb fat. We're gonna add it to the lamb. Now I have to chop the liver, but before we're gonna chop the liver, we're gonna put it in a barbecue, grill it a little bit, take all the blood out, and then cube it for small pieces and add to the lamb and the fat, okay? So let's go grill this thing a little bit. I'm gonna put the liver for a couple minutes. Make sure all the blood comes out. I'm gonna start the fire over here because the water has to be boiled before I put the bag and the food inside. So it's gonna take a little time. Two more seconds and I'm done, okay? So this is a two bunch of dill. So more likely I'm gonna use uh, approximately one and a half bunch. I'm gonna chop them. Dill is ready. I chopped one and a half bunch, okay? So we're gonna add them to this recipe. Now I have to cut the cilantro, but before I do the cilantro, I'm just gonna go and put the pot with the water inside because I need the water to start getting warmed up. And then inside this, I wanna add water. This is where we're gonna put the food in the bag, okay? So I need the water to get the... almost close to boiling before I put the food inside. It depends on the size of your pot. I'm gonna add close to one and a half gallon of water, okay, inside. That's it. Now I'm gonna cut the cilantro. I have two and a half bunch over here, okay? Just, if you see some big stems, just take them out the rest. Otherwise you can cut just like that. You don't need to remove it. Only the biggest one you can take it out, okay? Cilantro and dill, very important part of the food. So you gotta make sure that you have, you, you use a lot. I cut two and a half bunches of cilantro. So we add them to the recipe right now. After I grill the liver, now I'm gonna cube it, okay? Two small cubes and add it to the recipe you can use a uh, chicken liver cow so this is a uh, cow liver i chopped the liver a small cube we're gonna add them over here also now rice this is piola in bukharian so this is what i use usually when i said five piola or four piola okay the amount of the rice that i put over here it's around uh, five piola five of those cups so it was staying inside the warm water for like a, an hour or so now i'm gonna take the water out let me take the water first i washed it also three times you have to wash it okay before you use the rice Okay, I'm gonna add the rice right now. On the bach, the only seasoning you put, salt and pepper, that's it. So this is salt and black pepper. That's the only thing you put inside. Nothing else but that, olive oil, okay? So approximately on the cup itself, I'm gonna put like maybe like three cups. And now we're gonna mix it. And before I'm gonna put it in the bag, I'm gonna taste if it's enough salt. I have two bags, two different bags. This one is a little bit bigger, this one is a little bit smaller. Now this one, you can do also in a bag. There's a special bag that they sell, not like this, from plastic. But I want to do the old uh, tradition way and use the bag, so I have two different sizes of bag. My daughter wants me to use this one, but I'm leading towards this one. You know why? Because it's a little bit more wrinkly. And I remember when I was a kid and my grandmother used to cook this thing, or my mother used to cook this thing, the bag always was wrinkly. So you know what? I'm gonna use this bag and see what happens. So let's stuff everything inside this bag. The whole food is inside and now you're gonna have to tie it. So you do it like this. You have to leave approximately two fingers from the bottom, okay? Two fingers, not too much. Too much is no good. This is the two finger you're gonna leave approximately this way. See the way I'm holding and then tie it with this wire. 
very nice and strong shouldn't open if it opens you're in big trouble you gotta tie it very strong see nice and tight doesn't open now see how beautiful it looks now we're gonna go put it inside the pot this has to cook three hours okay so if you put it straight just like i'm doing right now one and a half hour this way i'm gonna turn it to the other side after one and a half hour I close it lightly on top just like this and let it cook for three hours meanwhile while it's gonna be cooking i'm gonna make yachni and uh, yachni is also a boiled chicken you're gonna cook it and it's, very, it's also Bukharian tradition when you serve bach you do yachni so what you do is you take the put the pot put water as usual fall and spring i use only no sink water for me okay Take my chicken and pour it inside. That's all it takes. That's it. So after it starts boiling, you cook it 20 min 25 minutes on each side. 25 minutes on this side, and then you flip it for another 25 minutes. Okay, so this is going to be cooking right now for the next, uh, I would guess, an hour. Over here, what I'm going to put is that the eggs, potatoes, and carrots. Okay, so then I'll show you what I do with those eggs and potatoes and carrots. Remember, the eggs will take only... After it's not boiling, six minutes after it's boiled, the potatoes and the carrots will take a little bit longer, so you can leave them up, and then you can take the egg a little bit earlier, okay? So everything is cooking. It's gonna take a little while, guys, so I'll keep you updated and see what's going on, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, salt into my chicken. It doesn't really matter how much you add, because after I take it out and, and cut it for small pieces, I'm gonna put the kosher salt. I'm just gonna put a little bit right now on top, okay? This one is boiling, so as I told you a long time ago, a while back, six minutes. After six minutes, I'm gonna take the egg out and leave the potatoes and the carrots over there because the potatoes and carrots will take a little bit longer, okay? So I put a little bit lower fire. Okay, now let's go to the chicken. One. Chicken is boiling, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take around 25 minutes time before I flip it. In the meanwhile, you gotta take all the fat out, just like this. I just wanna check the fire, see if the water is boiling. You see, this is the way the water has to be. You see the little bubbles? Small little bubbles, not too much. Okay, so that's the way it has to be cooking for the next three hours. Six minutes pass by. I'm gonna take my eggs out. The eggs are ready. And the potatoes and carrots, I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer, okay? It's gonna make the fire a little bit lower. You don't want it to boil too hard, then the water gonna get dried out. So take a look on the, on the fire. So I'm gonna check once in a while to see if the water is boiling. If it's not boiling, I add a little bit more. If it's boiling too hard, I can leave the cover open or take one out, okay? So far it's doing good. So we're good so far. 25 minutes press back. I'm gonna flip my chicken. I'm gonna turn it the other way around. Leave it on this side for another 25 minutes. My potatoes is ready. So I'm gonna take the potatoes also out. Probably you're asking yourself what I'm going to do with the egg and potatoes and carrots. I'll show you. Okay, the carrots is ready also. So we'll take it out also. So all this thing is ready right now. Now we're gonna have to let it stay and cool off a little bit, okay? Okay guys, look who's back. My wife is back. She came after putting makeup. My boss actually wants to check how the food is going. Come, come, I'll show you how my food is going. Okay, yeah, let's see, let's see. That's my box. I'm Let me hungry. See. Hold on one second. Let me see how long passed by. Hold on. It's, five, it's an hour and 10 minutes passed by so far, okay? So let me show you. It's doing good. Let me see. Looking good, looking good. Oh my God, it smells box. It smells like box. Oh, I swear. You want to smell it? No, you got to come from this side. Oh, it smells like box. Yeah, this one looks really good. good. And my yachni also. Kind of almost ready. And in, in about like five minutes, I'm going to take it out. My chicken is ready. Now we're going to have to let it cool off. All right, an hour and a half passed by. Now I have to flip it. Look how pretty it looks. Look how pretty it looks. Huh? Isn't it amazing? Oh, hold on one second. That's it. Now we have to let it go for another hour and a half. Looking good otherwise. No? Yes. Let me smell. Oh my God, it smells baksh. Chicken is ready, as you know. The eggs is ready. The potatoes is ready. The carrots. The baksh is still cooking. So I think we have another an hour and 10 minutes to go. So I'm going to prepare the yachni. Yachni, it's a boiled chicken. You eat it cold. It's a side dish to a baksh, okay? So let me start cutting it and... and uh, Prepare it and then I'm going to show you once it's cut already. Okay? My yachni is ready. Okay, we're still waiting for baksh. I'm going to put a little bit kosher salt on top. See the eggs and the potatoes and the carrots, whatever I cook. And then 
black pepper. So now we're gonna leave it on the side to cool off a little bit until the box is ready. Three hours pass by. We're gonna take the food out. And looking good, no? Can you pick it up? Okay, let's go open. See what happened. Three hours pass by. Let me smell. <laughs> smell, smell. You smell box? No. Oh, yes. I'm very, very excited. Are you excited to see what's extremely, going on three hours later? Yes. And I want to say thanks to Polina. Polina was with me throughout the whole <laughs> three hours staying over here. Every time when I call her, come, come, can you take a video? She came out, took a video. You know, she could go out and hang out with her friends, but she decided to spend time with her daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Let's take out and see what this movie looks like. Oh, looking good. It smells so good. Looking good. Oh my god, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. Look at this beauty. Look. Look at this beauty. It looks so good. Bakshi Khaltegi. I want to start saying a few things about the Bakshi. The Bakshi is a very, very old traditional food that goes back many, 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 many years. And there's two different ways to do it. There's the one to do it in the pot or the one to do it in the bag. The bag is the original one. It's a little bit more difficult to do it but it tastes amazing. What you have to do is that you ha I take it by hand. If it gets stuck to my hand, that means it's perfectly, perfectly cooked. So let me try it. Also it while he's doing by hand, Look. If, if you do it with a spoon, and if it gets stuck in a spoon, that means... It's good. It's good. So let me try it right now. I want to say salute to you. Salute. <laughs> Guys, let us taste it. Continue taking the video while we. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, it's so good. Guys, it tastes amazing. I wish you could be here mm. to taste it. The last time I tasted such a bash wow. was in Israel, maybe like 40 something years ago when my grandmother cooked it. And over here we have yachni. Did you say the piece? Yachni, we cooked it. I showed you how I did everything the carrots and the egg and everything. Now we got a little bit cold. So what you do is you eat bach and you take yachni like I'm gonna do a chicken wing happened to be one of my favorite part of the chicken to eat. So I'm gonna eat that. One more, one more spoon, okay? I call this spoon. <laughs> wow. Sorry, it tastes so good. Anyway, guys, salute. It came out perfect. It tastes delicious. Please try the recipe at home. And uh, if you like the video, please, uh, what do you call this thing? Uh, like. Press the please, like button. Please like our uh, our video and share it with your friends. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you get notified when we post our tutorials. Okay, and so before we're gonna say salute to you guys, I wanna take one okay. more. You wanna take one more spoon? Okay. Take one more spoon. I take one more with the hand. Because it tastes so good, I cannot wait to eat it. Okay. <laughs> He's not even waiting. <laughs> Guys, salute. It's always three kilo. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see, see you, you next time. Next time.